What's up, everybody? Nathaniel Morton here with NathanielMorton.com, helping you get bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. Before I get into this video, I want to let you know that if you comment jump, J-U-M-P, down below in the comment section and you like this video, I will send you a free bodyweight vertical jump training program. So like the video, comment jump, and I will send that over to you. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a vertical jump training workout that I did in my very own personal gym, this tiny little space that gets the job done. And you're going to be able to take this workout to the gym with you and do it for yourself to increase your own vertical jump. Now, the exercises that I am doing today in this video, I have actually used those to increase my own vertical jump to the point where I can dunk with two hands, throw myself alley-oops and everything of the sort, and you can do the same exact thing by taking this to the gym and doing it for yourself. So here we go. The first superset that I did, I did three supersets today. First superset that I did was front squats. Now the first question that everybody's going to say is, Nate, can I do back squats? Yes, you can do back squats. I was just testing out front squats because I'm not very good at them and I want to get better at them. The only difference is that front squats is more focused on the quads. It's more quad dominant, whereas the back squats are more not only quads, but it also works your glutes and your hamstrings. So, But if you want to do back squats, you can do it. I did three sets of 10 for the front squats going to failure on the 10th rep so I made sure that I failed on the 10th rep of my squats and um, I did three sets of that then I supersetted I went straight over into body weight crossover step ups now there's a few things that you can do here you can do exactly what I did which was the crossover step ups or you can do Normal explosive step-ups or dynamic step-ups. You can use a weight. You don't have to use a weight. You can do a jump with the explosive step-up um, if you want to. So there's many different variations, but today I chose the crossover step-up. Then I moved into a timed superset, which I've been getting more into, and I did split leg lunge jumps for 45 seconds. And after my split leg lunge jumps, I went into box jumps. Now, as you can see, after my split leg lunge jumps, I thought I could jump up on the box. I thought I could jump up on the box. I thought I could jump up on the box. However, I did not understand how fatigued my legs were. Those split leg lunge jumps for 45 seconds, it is going to take a lot out of you. So the first box jump that I attempted to do, my legs basically didn't work. Okay, my legs did not work. I landed on my knees on the box and I want to warn you that your legs are going to be extremely fatigued after you do the split leg lunge jumps. And I want to warn you of that because number one, you, you don't want to look like I just looked like in the gym and land on your knees on the box. Number one, it's embarrassing. Number two, my box is my my boxes for box jumps are soft if you're using a hard platform that is not going to feel good um landing on your knee so just be careful but this is the superset that i did 45 seconds for the split leg lunge jumps and then i did 45 seconds for the box jumps okay so that was my superset um next i moved into barbell hip thrusts Okay, barbell hip thrust, this is great for hip extension because in a vertical jump, hip extension is extremely, extremely important. You need a powerful hip extension if you want to jump as high as you possibly can. So barbell hip thrusts are a great exercise for this. You can also do band pull-throughs is a great exercise for hip extension. You could also do kettlebell swings for hip extension. You could also do power cleans for hip extension. Um, so... But I did barbell um, barbell hip thrusts. I did three sets of 10 to failure. And then I superset, superseted it with one leg Romanian deadlifts. Now for this, these one leg Romanian deadlifts, I did one rep to the front, one rep to the outside of my leg, and one rep to the inside of my leg. And I did 12 reps total on each leg. So three sets of 12 reps on each leg for the one leg Romanian deadlifts. And after that, after I was done, that was my last superset, I did some foam rolling. And after I did the foam rolling, I did a few stretches and 
just in case anybody is interested out there, the stretches that I do after all of my jump workouts, I do the couch stretch, I do a hamstring stretch, then I do a quad stretch, then I do an Achilles stretch, then I do, what else do I do? After my Achilles stretch, I do a pigeon stretch, and then I do a stretch for my groin, and those are the stretches that I do. A lot of people ask, um, will stretching and foam rolling help you jump higher? It's not going to hurt. Number one, it makes your legs feel good. It gets you loose. It makes your knees feel good. Um, it gets your muscles looser. Any, if the tighter your muscles, the, the lower you're going to jump. The looser your muscles, especially the looser your hips, the higher you are going to jump. So... Um, this is the workout that I did today to increase my vertical jump. These are the stretches and the foam rolling that I did at the end. And you, now, you, what you need to do, this is your action step. You need to take this workout to the gym with you and do it for yourself. Because I say, as I say in every video, action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. So go to the gym, do this for yourself, and increase your own vertical jump. And I will see you guys next time.